Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. We can never ne get enough reminders about seeking the knowledge. So that way, when we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala fiqh wa basira. That we have uh, true insight and wisdom and knowledge and understanding of how to practice our religion. And since the Eid is coming up, and Eid, uh, the Eid al-Fitr is coming up, we're still in the holy month of Ramadan, we have Tarawih, we're praying, bi Allah ta'ala, we're still fasting. All of those things have ahkam, they all have rulings, and they're all require from us knowledge, Islamic knowledge. So I encourage myself, and encourage my brothers and sisters, to seek knowledge, seek knowledge about acts of ibadah before you begin. So when Ramadan is coming, start reading those hadith about Ramadan so you're familiar. Then go to those students of knowledge in your community, or, or, or if you have the Arabic language, go to the ulama, the scholars, and ask them questions. Ask them questions. And, and, and have a basira and ilm about what you're doing. And during the holy month of Ramadan, use the time wisely, of course, using it to read the Qur'an first and foremost. And may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings. And may Allah bless us to benefit from the remainder of Ramadan as well. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. That reading the Qur'an and also making sure you're on ilm wa fiqh. And as Shaykh Muhammad mentioned, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, I'lam rahimakullah, annahu yajibu alayna ta'allam arba masail al-ula al-ilm. So the Shaykh mentioned, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, I'lam Rahimakullah. He said, no, and may Allah have mercy upon you. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to have mercy upon us and you. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. I'lam rahimakullah, annahu yajibu alayna ta'allam arba masail. That it is an obligation upon us as Muslims to know four things. And we're just going to talk about the first thing here. He said, al ula al He said, the first thing is knowledge. It's knowledge. Then he went on to describe what is knowledge. So that way, we, we, we know that we're not just talking about engineering knowledge, being a doctor, being a lawyer, being a, a truck driver, whatever it is. But rather, we're talking about Islamic knowledge. He said, al ula al wa huwa ma'rufat Allah, ma'rufat Nabi, wa ma'rufat din al-Islam bi he said that knowledge, he described what knowledge is and what he meant by knowledge and the knowledge that's an obligation upon us as Muslims to have. He said it is knowledge of Allah, so that way you know who Allah is and how to worship Him. And knowledge of the, uh, the, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. so you know who you're following. You know that because those two aspects of knowledge, they include what? They include the two conditions to having your deeds accepted. If you want your, your, your fasting to be accepted, you need these two conditions. If you want your salat to be accepted, you need these two conditions. If you want your sadaqat al-fitr, your, 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 your uh, zakat al-fitr, the money that you have to pay uh, uh, before the Eid prayer to be accepted by Allah, you need to have these two conditions. And these two conditions are what? They are contained in those two statements. He said, ma'rafat Allah wa ma'rafat nabi is knowing Allah, and knowing the Prophet ﷺ, meaning that you worship Allah only alone, having ikhlas, and the second condition for having your deeds accepted is that it's in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ, so that you, what you're doing is in accordance with the sunnah. It has to be. For example, we can't say, I have sincerity to Allah, and I'm going to pray in this direction now. And I'm going to do it perfect. Maybe he has sincerity in his heart. But he didn't follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which shows us how to pray which is praying towards the Qibla, facing the Qibla. Nor, and maybe they decide, well I'm going to change the time. I'm going to pray with sincerity to Allah but I'm going to pray when I want to pray. Then you have missed again the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam no matter how sincere you are that that action will be rejected as the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said in an authentic hadith. So, letting us know that we have to have both those conditions. And likewise, if you follow the sunnah outwardly and in, certain, in, in your actions, okay, maybe you're praying, you pray on the time, everything, you, you meet the conditions for prayer, or you give the sadaqah the fitr in accordance with the sunnah, but your intention was not to please Allah, it was to show off in front of the people, to please so-and-so, so -and -so, or 
to make yourself be heard of, to be famous or what have you, then you have not met the first condition, condition, which is sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So letting us know that that knowledge that we're talking about, it includes those things in which we need in order to practice our Islam. Then the third aspect of knowledge that the Shaykh was mentioning, he said, and knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. Why is this important? Because when you want to pray the Eid, when you want to continue uh, pray Tarawih, you want to know what you're doing. And you want to have an idea from the Ahadith, from the, from the Quran, and from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah you want to have that evidence for what you're doing. Especially those basic actions and those basic acts, acts of worship, which every Muslim must know. You need to know the evidence for that. You need to have read it at least and have some familiarity. Say, well, the Prophet ﷺ said, I haven't memorized it, but I know he said this. And it's, it's in Bukhari, it's in Muslim, and it's a sound uh, thing. And I heard the ulama mentioning it or what have you. The important thing is you do need to have uh, basic knowledge of Islam and how to practice your Islam. And now that we're coming to the end of the month of Ramadan, strive to read at least one hadith related to the, the, the actions of Ramadan and related to the Eid prayer and related to uh, things that you're going to practice, that you're going to actually do and need this knowledge. That's what Islam teaches us. And that is the beneficial knowledge that we're striving to achieve. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas with thabat and bless us to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah forgive all of our wicked deeds that we do. And may Allah bless and, 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 and grant us His mercy and forgiveness and favor and increase our risk and bless us with those things which please Him. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.